Hey, what's going on guys? I'm ProEclipse and welcome to a Dire Eye strategy video for Black Ops 2 Zombies. I'm so excited to show you guys this and it's really a really good strategy for solo and this map is amazing so you're going to love it if you have this map. If you don't, well then uh, I suggest getting it and then when you get it you can watch the strategy video again and be like, oh that's awesome. So, so I really love this strategy. It's really cool and what you want to do is you want to get the AN94 and it's really powerful when you pack a punch. It even unpack a punched or not even upgraded it is a beast I mean upgraded you can see right now I know I have double tap it's a really good choice if you had the A94 upgraded or not double tap is amazing with the A94 and if you uh, are interested also get speed cola because speed cola really helps a lot especially when you're camping up here so you can see how powerful the AN94 upgraded is it's like the anodized or something I don't even know it's it's a huge long name, I don't even care to remember it, but the A94 upgraded is a beast. You can see here it's tearing up zombies. It is so amazing. I'll do an upgrade video on this, uh, upgrade this video on this for that series once I get back into shape. I'm just still putting out videos of Die Rise because of how, like, you know, much stuff there is in the map. And I gotta do an Easter egg video for Rektoff and Max's side. I'm getting off talk, but here, I, oh, I can't even talk today. I'm getting off topic here. You can see I have the Slickle Fire, which is not really a good choice for the solo strategy. I mean, you could accidentally shoot the ground and it makes it really hard to train up here or to fend off the zombies. Zombies slip inside and everywhere. You can't, like, control where they go. So I wouldn't suggest the Slickle Fire up here. So I switched around 31, and you can see I have the A94 still. And look how powerful it is still. It's an amazing gun, and it even lasts so many rounds. I didn't get past 32, though, so I didn't get to test how far it actually is this powerful. But I have the hammer as well. I'm going to upgrade that the next round. But I don't have the slick fire anymore because I ran out of ammo, and I had to trade it for uh, the hammer because, you know, I had no ammo in my A94. So this is still a good, really, really, really good gun. The A94 gets a lot of ammo. It's down by the um, Escher room, if you want to know if you take the power, like, shaft from the elevator that one with all those jumps and slides in it that's where you get the uh, sting from so this is basically the strategy that's all there is to it and so i hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for another black ops 2 zombies die rise strategy video i'm actually going to attempt another high round uh record run right now and i'm so excited so yeah this is a really good strategy and i suggest using it if you want to get some uh, to some high rounds so stick around for more black ops 2 zombies and die rise see you guys later